الحمد للہ و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی علی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم امی بعد So we spoke about truthfulness and now we're going to listen to a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which describes to us the importance of being truthful and that the person who is truthful will be written with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as being a truthful person. That means if a person is regularly truthful, they'll be written as a truthful person. If a person is a liar, they tell lies, they'll be written in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a liar. وَإِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ بِنْ ذَلِكَ So that encourages us to be truthful always. To be truthful always. Because a person who lies repetitively, then this person can be written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a liar. وَإِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ بِنْ ذَلِكَ وعن ابن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه وعن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الصدق يهدي من البر وإن البر يهدي من الجنة وإن رجلا ليصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار وإن رجل ليكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كذابا متفق عليه. In this hadith that was narrated by Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه. Who is it narrated by? Huh? Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه. Who was a Sahabi and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى be pleased with all the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this hadith, Ibn Mas'ud narrated on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that verily truthfulness leads to piousness, bir, or righteousness. And verily righteousness leads to Paradise or Jannah. And a man will tell the truth until it is he is written uh, he is written as uh, he is written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a person who is truthful. And then a man will lie or a person will lie and I'm sorry إِنَّ الْكَذِبِ يَحْدِي إِنَّ الْفَجُورِ And lying leads to sinfulness. And sinfulness leads to the hellfire. And verily a man will lie until he's written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a liar. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith we find many benefits. That first, the Prophet ﷺ began by saying that truthfulness, it leads to righteousness. So, Sina, what does truthfulness lead to? Truthfulness leads to what? Leads to? No, it's okay. Leads to what? You can say it in another way if it's easier to you. If you don't know what righteousness means, you can say it. truthfulness leads to being good. Pious. Truthfulness leads to goodness. And goodness leads to Jannah. Jazakallah khairah. Allah yubarak fiqh. And may Allah bless us all to be from the people of Jannah. Ameen. Jannah to Faradus. Ameen. So righteousness leads to paradise. And verily a man will be written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a um, uh, uh, written, a man will tell the truth, and he will be written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as someone who is truthful. Meaning the person who is continually truthful, they will be written as a, 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 a truthful person on the day of judgment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or even now. That means if someone is always telling the truth, Allah will see that person as a person who is truthful. And if a person a person that lies or lying, it leads to evilness and sinfulness. Sinna, 
What does lying lead to? Huh? Evilness. Okay. So that means if you tell lies, this is something evil. Lying is not good. It's not a good characteristic, and it's not a characteristic of the believer. And verily, a person that does evil or evil leads to the hellfire. So does evil lead to the paradise or lead to the hellfire? Huh? It leads to the hellfire. So is evilness a good characteristic? Is it good to lie? Because lying is a bad characteristic. It's an evil characteristic, huh? It's bad. And it leads to where? What does bad character lead, lead you to? It leads to the knot. It leads to the hellfire. Jazakumullah khayna. May Allah protect us all from the hellfire. So evilness, it leads to the fire. And really a man will tell lies until it is written that this man is a liar with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning Allah will consider that person a liar because the person is told so many lies that they are regularly, that they will have the characteristic of just being a pure liar. Wa'iyadun billah. This was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. What we learn from this is that we should always try to do righteous and good deeds always. That we should avoid uh, we should avoid lying. We should avoid bad character and bad conduct. Because bad conduct leads us where, Rashad? What is being uh, bad conduct and bad behavior lead us to where? Huh? Where does it lead you? If you're, if you're being bad, you have bad characteristic and manners, it leads you to where, Sana? No, it leads you to hellfire. And if you are, if you're telling, if you're telling the truth, on a regular basis, where will this lead you to, um, uh, Mena? Jannah. Jazakallah khayran. Because truthfulness is a characteristic of the righteous. And Allah loves the people who are righteous. Allah loves the people who are righteous. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and protect us and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the people who are righteous. And may Allah bless us to be of Ahl Jannah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد